Hey guys, Tom Bramwell from Eurogamer here, showing you Knack on PlayStation 4. Yes, it's one of the PlayStation 4 launch titles. Uh, I've now finished it. This is me running through a level very early on. Um, Knack, I have to say, is just a bit rubbish. Um, it's uh, it, it looks bright and colourful and cheery. Um, and uh, initially, you know, you may feel that there's a bit of rhythm and zip to the combat, and you know, it's it's all kind of you know vaguely enjoyable. But I tell you what, after 15 hours of playing this. If your impression of it doesn't change, I'll be very uh, doesn't change. I'll be very surprised. Um, I was worn down by the uh, shallowness and, and repetition of the combat, particularly the, uh, the 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 unsympathetic checkpointing, which means that you have to replay two to three minute sections of the game, which just aren't very entertaining over and over again. Um, not particularly hard, just because Nack's very very flimsy as an enemy, and there are cheap combina sorry as a, as a character, and there are very cheap combinations of enemies that will spam you with ranged attacks while other guys are hitting you up close. Um, and in addition to that, it's, it's quite a poor technical showcase for the PlayStation 4, I think. Uh, there are some, you know, I mean, this is obviously early on, so you're not expecting to see too much. But, um, you know, they've put a lot of effort into this, this character having all these individually rendered relics that make him up. But he just looks, you know, like any other character, you know, um, from the distance you actually play at. And all the kind of long-range views that you see of, of the environments are pretty... You know, I've, I, having, if you've played The Last of Us and Uncharted and you come to this, you'll think, well, hang on, why did we need a next-gen system in the first place? Um, added to that, the, the story is just, you know, rubbish. Um, it's, it's childish. Uh, it's, it's not, in its, and not in that good way that sort of, you know, Disney and Pixar do, where it's sort of, uh, you know, universally appealing. It's just bland. Um, I, I found very little to uh, latch on to. Um, and really, after the 15 hours it took to finish it, um, there wasn't much left for me. Um, so all of that's covered in more detail in my review on Eurogamer, but here I am playing through an early section and you can kind of see, uh, you can get a taste of some of the combat. That sort of big move I just did there is, is one of the sunstone kind of super moves that you can do. You might have seen me smashing up yellow crystals, that um, allows you to, uh, to power up those moves. It takes too long to power up those moves to be honest. You know, it should be easier to use them because with the checkpointing the way it is, you, you're going to want to use them as a get out of jail free card occasionally and they're just, you know, ultimately they they're not available as often as they would be fun. Um, that can speed up as you unlock gadgets, but it takes so long into the game to unlock them that um, you know by that stage you're just really tired of it. Um, you know, Nax's party trick, which you're probably getting a sense of from this video, is that he can grow in size as he gathers more relics. That's the whole thing. But you know, he isn't like uh, you know Rayman or uh, someone like that who can like fire off relics, and, and you don't have any real control over managing how big he is and stuff. It's all kind of stage managed for you by the game, there'll be like a door that requires you to schedule relics or um, an enemy that requires you to get big so it will give you a sudden burst of relics and you know it just it just feels like there uh, there's, there's very little complexity to anything in the game, you know story tech, uh, combat um, even the platforming which is her you know her amazingly basic I was going to say horrendously basic it, it seems a little harsh to say it's horrendous because at least it's not frustrating um, but you know there's no there seems to be very little imagination at work here um, you know and that's really disappointing in a, in a you know in a, a game that's meant to showcase the system um, and help justify it um, I mean just here like look how far I've been punted back I'm now in the car park which is like the other side of this battle you know on the other side of this battle and then I have to go through here and there's all this stuff. Okay, it's 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 not a huge distance, but it only takes two or three kit hits to uh, to kill Knack, and they will, you know, make it so that you uh, uh, so that you're being like attacked by you know from range, whilst you're being attacked close by. And the evasion move, you know, it leaves you and, and, and even just striking enemies leaves you really overexposed. So you know, not a hard game, I would say. I mean, I finished it pretty fluidly, um, but you will end up replaying sections of it over and over again, and they're just not that much fun. Um, and and that, that really counts against it. I kind of, I don't want to be too harsh on Knack. I, I, I sort of, I went through this phase reviewing it where like for probably 10 or 12 hours I was just really fed up with it. Um, and I kind of wished it would, you know, finish um, sooner. And then they did a couple of levels at the end where um, it kind of came together a bit more. They seemed to let you do a bit more. Like you can, you can unlock this stealth ability and you'd be able to do that while trying to manage enemies in small arenas. And you just thought, man, there is actually potential in this game. If they'd only kind of made things a bit more complex and interesting and allowed systems to work together. But it's, it just isn't, it, it just never really becomes that game. Um, and you know, they've, there's a, an unlockable time attack mode, a kind of arena attack mode as well, which you, you get when you finish it. I'm not going to go back and play it. I, I, I mean, the combat, for me, there are so many better sort of platform brawlers 
Um, there are so many better fighting games in general on you know that I already own, um, and I'd rather just replay those and get better at those. Um, I think the thing with launch titles is sometimes um, sometimes you just want something that uh, that makes your system look good and, and probably doesn't stress you or it too much. Um, and I really wish I could say that Knack is that game, but if it is, it's only an extremely short burst uh, most of the time. And especially if you have to play it, or if you want to play it for more than an hour or so, um, which surely you will want to do if you've just bought a PlayStation 4, then you're just going to be frustrated, bored, um, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't have a lot of great things to say about it, I'm just going to skip this cutscene. Um, frankly, the idea of spoilers in this game uh, uh, is, is slightly laughable because virtually everything in it is completely predictable. The story, by the way, concerns, I mean if you're interested, uh, there's some goblins who are attacking humans. And you have to um, join forces with this billionaire industrialist guy and his security robots. Uh, they're, they're the things you're fighting at the moment. You're kind of this is, you're sort of demonstrating your capabilities at the start of the game to this guy, and you have to try and take out the goblins. And then it turns into this big race for some sort of ancient power. Um, but it's it's so generic, and the, the dialogue is just like so bland. Um, if it was if it was a slightly more enjoyable game to play in combat terms, I think it would be more forgivable that it's uh, so basic. But <laughs> they made a frustrating, dull, shallow, repetitive game, um, and it feels very hard to, to to say anything all that nice about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, for this let's play of Knack. I'm sorry, it's not a nicer um, story on this one. Like I, I always go into games with optimism and, and, and you know hope for the best, but I just this one really wore me down. Um, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone buying a PlayStation 4. Um, I think uh, if you want a technical showcase, Resogun is wonderful. You know, it may only be a 2D shooter, but it's gorgeous. Uh, Killzone as well, very pretty. Um, you'll you'll be able to see hopefully uh, reviews of those um, on Eurogamer, and we'll try and do some videos as well. Um, but yeah, Knack is a pass for me. Um, and. Uh, yeah, uh, so thanks very much for watching this Let's Play video. Please subscribe to Eurogamer. We really appreciate um, you know, the audience we've got on YouTube, and we want to keep doing stuff that you like. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the PlayStation 4 if you're picking one up.